Coming up on Sports Weekly, we will check in with the Arroyo Valley football team and the Hawks' new head coach, T.J. Stanford. He has joined the Hawks on campus, going through some summer workouts and hoping to get these guys ready for a big bounce-back season. So far, so good for Coach Stanford and Arroyo Valley. And then it's on to... Indian Springs High School. How about some seven-on-seven -seven action? The Coyotes taking on Redlands East Valley and Grand Terrace. As for Indian Springs, we will hear from head coach Chris Chaddock and offensive coordinator Gary Hedlin. We will also take a look at, well, the Wildcats under head coach Gavin Pichot, the former Rialto head coach, the former offensive coordinator at San Gorgonio, trying to get Rev back into the playoffs. Then we'll make a stop over at San Manuel Stadium and on this occasion, it's all about the Cajon High School softball team being honored as your CIF Southern Section Division 5 champion. So we'll hear from the Cowgirls there. And then it's on to more football, this time at Carter High School with the one and only Ken Kenny Clark of the Green Bay Packers back home in the Inland Empire, the former Carter High School star and San Bernardino native hosting his annual youth football camp. All that and more coming up on this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. And it starts right now. And what is up, everybody? Welcome to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I am your host, Pep Fernandez. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. We will have high school football coverage all throughout the summer as we march our way towards week zero, which would be August 19th. That would be the first Friday night of high school football, although I've already seen the schedule. And we do have some Thursday and, yes, some Saturday night football as well in week zero and speaking of some saturday football uh the saturday night game that's scheduled at least according to max preps a royal valley will be in in action and that will also be the first game for new head coach tj stanford Coach Stanford and the Hawks going through summer workouts, getting better day by day as they get ready for their first game of the season. And as I mentioned, uh, it will be on a Saturday night. That would be August 20th as they are scheduled to take on Arrowhead Christian Academy in Redlands in that first game of the year. And Coach Stanford excited to build this Arroyo Valley program back up and try to get this Hawks team to the postseason. Head coach Jake Niesel, his predecessor, uh, had some good seasons, got the program going in the right direction. Now Coach Stanford's hoping to take these guys to the next level and get them to a playoff spot. And he feels very good about their chances in the Skyline League this upcoming season. And it's, it looks like it's going to be wide open this year. And the Hawks should be in the mix. Right now for Coach Stanford and the guys, it's just about getting on the same page and uh, getting used to his system, what what's expected from him. He comes over from, of course, 29 Palms. We had an interview with him on IEMG oh, a couple months ago when he was first hired. But here's a little bit more with Coach Stanford uh, talking about how the team is looking and his expectations for a Royal Valley this upcoming season. Here's Coach TJ Stanford. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are out here at Arroyo Valley High School with the brand new head coach for the Hawks, TJ Stanford. And, and coach, we had a chance to talk a little bit right after you got hired. But now that you're here on campus, you've had a chance to run around with the guys a little bit. Uh, what's kind of your first impressions of your uh, Hawks squad? Tell you what, I'm really impressed with, uh, with how hard these guys work. Uh, I'm really impressed with, with their dedication into the classroom since we arrived here. And uh, just really looking forward to continuing, build, continuing to build every single day. You know, here we are in the month of June, and I, and I feel like that, that week zero is right around the corner at this point. Um, what, what, you, what are you trying to emphasis right now? What's the emphasis for this Arroyo Valley team? Do you just feel like you guys are getting better? Right now it's details every day, small details. Small details make big plays. And uh, if we continue to, uh, to work on that every single day, we're, we're going to be okay week zero. And it is right around the corner. So, uh, you know, we're grinding every day, looking forward to it. Uh, every day is game day out here for us. So we're having a lot of fun. 
And I believe uh, it was Arrowhead Christian, I think, on a Saturday night Saturday in Week night. Zero? Yeah. yeah, Saturday night in Redlands. Come on out and check us out. All right, Coach, uh, let's talk about some of the guys you have out here. I, of course, no helmets and pads yet, but let's do just a little bit of name dropping. Who, who's impressed you so far uh, in these summer workouts? I've got a couple of guys. We've got a running back, Ronald Weathers, that's looked really good, uh, real fast, real strong. Uh, got a guy on the defensive end, uh, Tuka, Tuka Tau. Uh, he's been real fast, flying around, making plays all over the place. Um, our, our offensive line is real young, but real strong. Excited to see him. Our defensive line is even younger. Um, so really excited to see how they're going to you know, gel and, and, and mature throughout uh, fall camp here. So looking across the board uh, on the guys that you have out, younger team, older team, somewhere in the middle, how would you kind of classify that? Uh, we're, we're a very young team, but I think that's really good because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's raw clay. We're able to mold them the way we want them to be, and uh, they've, they've made huge strides every single day. So here we go, you know, less than two months away from week zero, as we mentioned. From here to that August 20th first game against ACA, what are some areas that you feel like this team really needs to focus on to, to get better, clean up, improve upon? We just have to we just have to trust in our coaches, trust in the new system. Uh, you know, everybody's learning every day. Everybody's learning something new. And if we continue to get 1% better every day, then we're going to be ready on the 20th. You know, of course, you guys are you know running through drills and working on the X's and O's sorts of things. But how, how important is it for these guys to just – understand you get along with one another you know kind of have that it's a cliche but you know that gelling process well it, you know I, th I think with every team especially with a new coach coming in that takes it that takes a little bit um, I think our guys are picking up on it a lot faster than I anticipated um, but it, but as soon as it clicks it's going to click and it's going to be real pretty so it's you know we're right there and how fun is this, you know, just embracing this challenge of trying to get this team back to the playoffs it's been a while you know yeah. of just trying to you know, put your stamp on the program, mold it the way you want, and, and see if it's going to pay off with a playoff uh, position at the end. I'll tell you what, I wake up every day excited to be the Royal Valley head coach. I, I'm excited to show up to work every day to work with these guys. And, uh, you know, if we continue doing what we're doing, I, I don't see why we're not in the playoffs. All right, that is TJ Stanford, the new head football coach here at Arroyo Valley High School. All right, that's head coach TJ Stanford from Arroyo Valley. Best of luck to the Hawks this upcoming season. When we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG, it's how about some 7-on-7 uh, seven seven action. Indian Springs hosting not only Redlands East Alley, but also Grand Terrace High School, uh, trying to get a little bit better getting ready for that first game of the season. We'll be right back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.